what's up soldiers my name is greg fps the zombies extraordinaire and welcome back to another video here today on the channel where today guys we're going to be taking a look at the top five most boring zombies maps in treyarch zombies history now when you take a look at a zombies map that you've played a long time a lot of different things start to get really repetitive and you get kind of bored of the map now there are plenty of maps that i don't get bored of somehow even though i speed run like mob of the dead all the time for example i don't really get bored of the map now it is a lot easier and it does get very very repetitive but i enjoy the map so much that it doesn't really bore me at all if that makes sense but these maps on this list really do bore me and it's what a lot of people said on twitter as well when i asked what is the most boring zombies map so without further ado guys let's jump right into the list coming in at the number five spot is going to be classified from black ops 4. now personally i really do like classified i think that there were a few things that they added and uh you know made it a little bit better than it was on five originally but i think the biggest reason why classified can be so boring is because there's nothing to steal your gun the pentagon thief is not there and other than that it's just a basic survival map that has area 51 to pack a punch and you can open it up and you have a free winter's Howl easter egg or you can go to around 150 which honestly is not even worth it at this point so other than that there really isn't anything special going for it it's already a map that we've already played so it gets really repetitive and there's really nothing to go for even high rounds don't feel impressive once you've gone round 150 and it's just not as fun as the original five in my opinion so it comes in here at the number five spot coming in at the number four spot is going to be ascension now i would definitely say more specifically the black ops 3 version of ascension and pretty much all of the chronicles maps can be pretty boring and we'll be touching on a couple later on now i do feel like ascension is just one of those basic bare bones maps if you think about it it's pretty much the exact same thing as therese you have three lunar landers in place of the three teleporters and then you can open pack a punch and go to pack punch but other than that it really doesn't have anything going for it yes the thunder gun is there but the map can just be so boring and repetitive and there's really nothing special about it it obviously had the first easter egg which was kind of cool but you only get a 90 second death machine so is it really even worth it and other than that like there's literally nothing special about this map people love it to death and i really have no idea why whenever i play this map i just get bored out of my mind pretty much immediately unless i'm doing the easter egg and that's why it comes in here at the number four spot coming in at the number three spot is going to be alpha omega as well as nuketown now nuketown is really boring because it doesn't have anything going for it except for an m27 that you can get from the box other than that it has all the same guns you could get on transit and obviously you have to get the ray gun mark ii if you want a wonder weapon that will actually do well on the map and it just gets really boring but it is a survival map so i'll cut it a little bit of slack but alpha omega if you think about it you're playing this entire map and entering numbers on a keypad it gets a very very repetitive and although the easter egg is fun and i really do like the easter egg I have played this map a ton and I will agree that it does get pretty boring if you're not doing anything else besides the Easter egg. There's really no high rounds that you can do because you have the Nova crawlers making really fast green sprinters, which are super, super annoying. Probably the most annoying thing in all of Black Ops 4 besides maybe the vampires, but I really don't think they're that bad. Overall, I just disagree uh, completely with this map and like the, the layout. Now, a lot of people will say it's like the exact same thing as Nuketown, although I don't think it's the same. I just don't find it very enjoyable. Even Lex replied to my tweet when I asked people and he said Alpha Omega. So, I mean, it seems like a lot of people agree with that. And it comes in here at the number three spot along with Nuketown. Coming in at the number two spot is going to be Shino Numa. Now, I personally think all of the World at War maps are pretty boring, except for Doris. Doris has a lot more action and a lot more stuff going for it. But Shino Numa is just one of those maps that bores me to death because it takes so long for the zombies to come out of the water sometimes. And it's just not that fun in general. It has nothing special, obviously. I'm going to cut it a little bit of slack because it is in World at War. It was one of the first maps. But even in all of the other iterations, it's still really, really boring in Black Ops 3 and in Black Ops 1. Now, it is a basic survival map. You have the four perks, 
and that's literally it and then you just kill zombies now there's so many different areas would have been cool to have teleporters in those areas but i mean we're talking about Treyarch from way back in like 2007 2008 when they were working on the map so i'm gonna cut them a lot of slack but i just think shinonuma is a really boring map and a lot of people agreed with me over on twitter so it comes in here at the number two spot all right guys we're gonna jump into two honorable mentions the first one is kino kino is the most played zombies map in zombies history and i think it is the most overrated map in zombies history as well it's really boring when you think about it getting to high rounds on this map you really don't have anything except for a thunder gun and that's basically it there's no phd so you can't get mustang and sallies and you're pretty much just reliant on using the thunder gun over and over now yes you can go out in the alley so you don't get nova crawlers spawning which is a very nice feature i will say but even in black ops 3 people go for high rounds and i am so bored watching it i just don't think it has enough going for it to be a very very good map that i can go back without being bored when i play it so that's why it comes in here as an honorable mention and the other honorable mention is going to be die rise once again this is a very very boring map sorry johnny j and everyone else that thinks die rise should be remastered if they remaster it they need to do a lot of fixes to this map and the first fix that they can definitely change is how long you have to wait for the freaking elevators this is by far the biggest issue with this map i don't think verticality is a problem but i just hate waiting for elevators it makes the map extremely boring and it does have this liquid fire which is probably the best and most redeeming factor of the map the easter egg is kind of fun as well but other than that waiting for the elevators literally kills the map for me and that's why i don't think it should be remastered at all and it comes in here as an honorable mention for definitely a very boring map all right guys and coming in at the number one spot is a map that i continuously find myself being bored out of my mind and that is knocked and we're not even talking about world at war black ops 1 knocked we're talking about black ops 3 knocked black ops 3 allows you to have gobble dumps you can get pack a bunch of guns you can actually have a lot more fun i think in black ops 3 with the addition of gobble gums on knocked but the fact that you have to wait for zombies to walk onto the map or even get close enough to shoot them is absolutely ridiculous it takes over two minutes usually for me to get all of the zombies to actually enter the map which is crazy it takes way too long i i really did think that Treyarch was going to speed up the time for the zombies to get on the map they could have spawned them behind the walls just like in world at war which still took a while but they should have just made the zombies a little bit faster it's to the point where the spawns take so long it's not even possible to get round 255 without getting a reset which is kind of crazy when you think about it like it's never been done and it probably will never be done because it just takes so long for the zombies and i personally hate waiting around and waiting for zombies to spawn in so that's why it comes in here at the number one spot if you guys think i missed out on any maps you can definitely let me know down below and also what i want you guys to do is comment which map you think has the most replayability what map can you go back to and still have fun every single time you play it let me know down below in the comment section guys and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one peace out